Excellent. Very well done. What do you think Dulce I ever even no. a bit yeah. and there's the any better uh, I hope the more relax what We intercepted call for backup during your last fight. The caller's position is on your soliton radar. You can engage if you wish. It is your choice. Up above you! The cliff is just ahead at the end of the old city. Beyond that is the refinery's backyard. So what? It's a sheer drop? The refinery's not connected to the city at all? No. It was only built two years ago. There should be a narrow path around there that leads to the plant. It is protected by a fence, but probably you can cut your way through. Probably. Don't get cocky. Most likely it is Desperado running security down there. Good. That's the back of the refinery. I see a door there, but it probably has an alarm. Can you use the ventilation duct? You mean that huge fan? Hmm. Just cut off the blades as it spins. Easy, yes? <laughs> we got anything on that ray I went up against? 
Hmm. We analyzed the wreckage. Its musculature had been replaced with CNT muscle fiber. The same type as you, or most any cyborg. This improved its power output and left more room in the chassis for other equipment. It seems they filled this space with vetronics and extra weapons. Like that heat blade in Plasma Gun. Plasma loses effectiveness in the air pretty quickly, but it's still a hell of a close-range weapon. Large-scale UGs have a growing problem fighting smaller, more agile opponents like you, Raiden. This is why we now see UGs armed with new countermeasures, such as this Ray had. Good. That's the back of the... I see you... You mean... Mm. Hey, so, uh, Kev, buddy, about the refinery, can I get a quick breakdown of the facilities? Copy that. I suppose you should at least know a few basics for the mission. So, like I was saying, the refining process is based around distillation. The tallest building on site is the distillation tower. All the crude oil runs through there first, where it's distilled at different boiling ranges. Lighter components with low boiling points are removed at the top of the tower, heavier ones at the base. The heaviest fuel oil then has the lighter oils and naphtha the distillation didn't remove taken out. Fluid catalytic cracking is what they call it. Other than that, let's see. There's equipment to remove sulfur, a cooling tower to dispose of all the water used. Oh, and the flare stack to eliminate gas waste. You see that thing with flame shooting out the top? That's the stack. It's burning the gas off? Yeah, burns it up completely, rendering it harmless. Kind of hypnotic if you stare at it a while, huh? Next door, you have a power plant. It's pretty typical for this type of facility. And of course, the gas tanks. Liquefied petroleum gas, LPG, is pressurized and stored in those round tanks. It's also artificial, but it's got a certain charm, you know? It's like the ultimate in utilitarian beauty. A solitary distillation tower, all lit up and set against the setting sun. It's an amazing sight. Uh, Kev, you still with me there? What? You don't appreciate this kind of stuff? Places like Germany and Japan, people get really into it. Factory sightseeing tours and everything. Uh, yeah. No, not so much. Right. FYI, we just confirmed with the client for your next mission. Great. How about we finish this one first, though? <sighs> I'd like to see my family again someday, you know? My son's going to forget he even has a father. 90-day contract and tour, buddy. We're all in the same boat. Man, feels like ages since I was back in Virginia. I don't know about in the same boat. These guys are out to tear me limb from limb. Worst you are EMF desk jockeys have to worry about are paper cuts. <laughs> all right, all right. Guess you don't want to hear what your old friends are up to then. Who is it? Desperado. Where is it this time? Mexico. Apparently they've got some kind of lab in Guadalajara. You're going in to investigate claims of human trafficking and illegal dumping. And our client? Who's picking up the tab? If we're planning to play police all of a sudden, we're gonna need some kind of budget. No worries there. It's a human rights group we've worked with a few times before. They were conducting their own trafficking investigation when Desperado came up. Understood. You can brief me when I get back. Roger that. Where the hell did Desperado get all these cyborgs anyway, Kev? Hard to say. They're not as rare as they once were, but still. Of all registered PMC troops, we're still talking, what, 3% have enhancements? Maybe 5% tops. Mostly career military who got hurt on the battlefield one way or another. Getting their arms or legs back lets them keep earning a living. But most able-bodied soldiers are still reluctant to sacrifice their own healthy body parts. Plus, the surgery is highly specialized. Expensive as hell. Not to mention maintenance costs after that.